guys, this is Lane Morgan here in Douglas, Georgia. We are on the grounds of our dealership at Renown Cargo Trailers. You know, when I first got in this business, it was never about a trailer. It was always about you guys. It was always about people. And I love waking up every morning not knowing what's on the other end of that phone call. And the relationship that I've got to build with this customer is uh, it's going to be a lifelong relationship. Um, his name is Charlie Cruz. He is the owner of a Chick-fil-A in B Valdosta, Georgia. And what I love about Charlie is the way that he loves Jesus. But me and him have hit it off and we have built his first Chick-fil-A mobile food trailer. And what they're going to do, this is going, trailer is going to be used for the kingdom. They're going to be able to go out throughout their community and serve food set up for different events. And it's going to serve a lot of different purposes. But we wanted to show you this beautiful trailer before it went to Chick-fil-A. They're going to be doing all their graphics on it tomorrow. It is heading to Valdosta. But let me tell you a little bit about this trailer. 7 by 16 it's got an extra long extended tongue on the front. That is, uh, it has 72 inch draw bars on it. So there's plenty of room for him to put his generator on there. And up under here, there should be a Honda generator. I hadn't even looked, but boom, boom, there it is. So he's got a 5,000, no, that's a 7,000. 7,000, plenty of generator for this trailer. Honda. Um, to power the air conditioner um it's also got a converter in there that you'll see so it runs off 12 volt and 110. we've got a black covered atp generator box to keep it out of the weather we've also got an electric jack on the tongue so not that charlie's an old man but uh even at my age i don't want to crank a jack up and down all the time so this is a very nice feature is the electric 5,000 pound electric jack front is a flat front most of our uh race car trailers and concession trailers they go with a flat front we've got your cast black aluminum corners up top that just gives it a more uh rounded off front so it's just not flat it just gives it a more uh You'll see pictures of the awning going out. Um, we've got a party package on here. So we've got six speakers. Uh, these are outdoor waterproof speakers. Um, there's two on the outside, four on the inside, and it is loud if we were to turn it on. We've got LED lights all the way around this thing. So we've got two LED light bars on each side of the serving window. And we've got a three by six concession door window. See how nice that is? It's got gas shocks on it, and we don't build our doors in-house. We get them from Elixir um, Industries, which is in our hometown, but they are the door experts. So we let a door manufacturing plant build our doors. Uh, we tried to build our own one time, and we realized we wasn't door experts, so we let Elixir do it. The very nice doors. Um, you've got your glass window with screen, so you can let the windows up and down, leave the screen down. Also, you've got a uh, 12 inch deep uh, serving shelf. See how nice that is? How easy it is to pop up and let it back down. Simple as this. Very, very nice. Trailer's got a blackout special on it. So with your blackout special, all your trim's done in black. Your uh, fenders are black ATP fenders. And then you got the Spider Mag aluminum wheels which are chrome wheels with a black inlay, so they really make the blackout package pop. We've got your upgraded LED strip lights. We put those on our motorcycle trailers, our racing trailers, and if you just want a nicer light, we uh, suggest you upgrade to those. Up top, we've got more LED lights as well. This is a 40 inch, uh, 48 inch door on the rear with a window and screen. We did not put a side door on this trailer because a lot of times I try to convince people into just using a 48 inch door on the rear solid wall. That way you're not taking up wall space. You can put equipment or whatever you need. If you put a side door on there, that it, you got three or four foot that you can't put anything on the wall. Also got a GFI down here. So if he ever needs to plug anything up in the back, LED lights in the ceiling. These are 12 volt LED strip lights. And again, we've got a uh, 110 12 volt converter so it can operate off 12 volt or 110. We've got a commercial grade industrial 
refrigerate. We tested it out earlier and you could hang meat in here, it got so cold. Up top we've got a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. Charlie didn't want to feel like he was locked in a box when his employees were going to be working out of this trailer so we put him an extra 30 by 30 slider window here with screen. This is a fold down shelf. This is 24 inches deep, so it has legs on it and actually folds down as well. So we put another window up here for him right here, just to give him some more light coming in. We've got CD player, and then we just put a shelf up here for them to be able to put stuff on. So they are not cooking inside of this trailer. So Chick-fil-A is actually gonna prepare all the food in their restaurant and then just put it inside of the trailer and then like I said go to different events um, serve their community in different ways so they'll have sandwiches and stuff already prepared so all they really needed was a hand wash sink most concession trailers have a three deep bowl sink and then a hand wash sink but in this trailer all they needed was a hand wash sink we also built on right here this is very nice uh, this is something that we do in a lot of our concession trailers we put a, uh, it's a 12 inch or 18 inch deep base cabinet up under the concession window. So you've got a place that you can set a cash register, you can put your food, you're grabbing stuff here, you're putting stuff here, you're handing it to the customer. Just gives you more counter space and also storage space up under the base cabinet. So all the walls and the ceiling are covered in white metal inside of this trailer. We also did the floor in a black rubber tread plate. This is a very durable flooring. It'll last forever. Um, so they're gonna be able to make a lot of good memories, serve a lot of people in this trailer. We are delivering it to Valdosta tomorrow. And I can't wait for Charlie and them to see it. I know they're gonna love it. Um, my guys work extra hard on this trailer. If you'll look inside the uh, detailed work is very detailed. Um, I want to give a shout out to Alan, B12, all the guys in the back, Skylar, they do an amazing job. I promise you, I've been doing trailers a long time and I have not seen anybody that does options as good as my guys. I just got to brag on them. They are the best. This trailer, how flat the metal looks. And what it is on this trailer, we use a thicker aluminum skin. So this is an 030 metal. It's not flimsy, it's very durable, and uh, we do a semi-screwless exterior, so we screw it in the seams and glue it in the middle. So, very good looking trailer. Here's where the, uh, the water hookup is. You've got your dump valve right here. This is where they'll drain their tanks. This is the trailer that I wanted to show you again, and I just wanted to thank Charlie Cruz again over in Valdosta at Chick-fil-A. Thanks for letting us build your trailer. We look to build you many more in the future. And guys, if you want us to build your trailer at Renowned Cargo Trailers, if you can dream it, we can build it. I promise you. So let us be part of your dream. Give us a call at 188-287-3954. You can look us up online at www.renownedcargotrailers.com. You can also check us out on YouTube. There's tons of videos out there. And thank y'all for watching our videos. Be sure and subscribe to the link. Hit the notification bell. And uh, you'll be notified when we're putting out new videos, when new products are coming out. Um, there's tons of information out there. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook. We're all over the place. But guys, I just want to thank y'all for the opportunity to earn your business. And I want you to know one thing. And this is from me and Charlie. That Jesus loves you. And I don't care what you did last night, what you did this morning, God is crazy about you. He's not mad at you. He's madly in love with you, I promise you. He changed my life, he can change yours. If you ever need to talk to somebody about the Lord, Jesus Christ, I'm here and I'm available. Until then, y'all be blessed.